Hey everybody, welcome to my daily vlog channel. So tonight I'm actually leaving work and today was an alright day. Some severe allergy stuff going on. I finally started clearing up a little while ago. Sometimes it just takes a while for my sinus medicine to kick in and uh, feeling a whole lot better. I'm off tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I got episode 3 of Screenplay Date with my buddy Jeff on his channel. So that's something you guys have to look forward to. That's a really fun thing. He's a screenwriter. I'm an like inspiring screenwriter. I love screenwriting and the art of screenwriting. And so me and him kind of just throw his experiences and my love of screenwriting off of each other. We just have good conversation. He kind of goes over works in progress that he has. And we just have a good conversation. That's what I like the most about it. And it's fun. And the hour that we do every week flies by. And so it'll be episode three. I'm really looking forward to that. Probably like around one or two this afternoon. Well, tomorrow afternoon. But you will see it this afternoon because you're going to be seeing this video tomorrow. So if, based on when you see this, it'll be this afternoon. But it won't be happening until tomorrow. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so I plan on doing some more reading tonight, watching some of the Olympics. Man, I still have Stranger Things in my brain. Uh, I'm actually going to be re-watching the series soon with my wife. She didn't watch it with me this first time. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to re-watch it again. I really wish... It'd be so amazing if uh, Scream Factory released the seasons, season sets for that. Like, season one. I know it's a Netflix... It'd be cool if Netflix licensed the, that out to Scream Factory. It just screams Scream Factory and Shout Factory in general. So, uh, yeah, I just love the show. You know, I just am really, really thankful that I have all of you guys as viewers and supporters. You guys are encouraging to me. You guys are awesome. Uh, I just can't tell you how thankful I am. And really that's why I do this now I do this now because I like sharing a slice of life with you it's not always exciting but not life always isn't always exciting life is life and there's some dull moments in life and then there's other ones but it's what you make of each day and I mean obviously I can't film at work that's not you know I can't just film while I'm at work plus I'm very private about my work anyways like on the internet I don't like people knowing where I work all that kind of stuff there's still that line of privacy that I have even though I put myself out there on the internet I'm still a very private person and I'm very select usually everything that I share in terms of personal stuff and like personal struggles that I've had is stuff that I've spoken publicly about anyways uh, but it's always good to still have that privacy but I am just so thankful for each and every one of you you know, it's easy to get discouraged with some things. I told myself I wasn't going to address those things in this video in regards to, you know, thumbs downing and all that kind of stuff that people, some people do. I don't, I'm trying not to let that kind of stuff discourage me because my main channel gets it too sometimes. That's just YouTube in general. But I'm very thankful for those of you who speak out in positivity and love for my channel and love for what I do because I love doing it. And I love being able to share some of my life with you guys. And, um, I don't know, I just love doing it. I love being able to do stuff on my days off, share that with you guys. It's really motivated me a lot. And I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you, for your support, your love, and everything. And I know I say that a lot, but I really don't think I could say that enough, really. So, all right. But anyways... I'm heading home now so I'm gonna blast some music on the way home still listening to uh, Blink 182's California album pretty much listen to it well that's all I've really listened to since it came out I love it uh, really excited for Green Day's new album coming out in October this is actually the closest that I feel like the band's been sounding like the, it's the closest they've been to their 90s sound than they've been in a while I love all their stuff but I miss the old Green Day, and this is like a mix of both eras. The pre-American Idiot era and after. So, but yeah, 
So I'm gonna blast some music on the way home and I'll see you then. Darn, I fell asleep again.